oh my goodness, we just finished watching the latest episode of Married at First Sight, the finale, and there's a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. Are you still married? No. Katie kind of confesses to me how she had an affair with her ex. Woo! Child. I really had a lot of high hopes for Katie and Derek. I really thought that she just opened her mind, that she would see that he's a great guy. Turns out she's been cheating on him the whole time, so. I cannot stand a cheater. Okay. Girl, just own it. You did what you did. You Derek's did not that, dumb. Yeah. Derek is not stupid, and you cannot call him crazy for that. Right. There's nothing against Katie, but I just seen it, and I kind of knew it. I really didn't think they were going to stay married towards the end, but I thought that they would be like the type to get divorced but still be friends, but it seemed like they hated each other. They don't trust me anymore. OK, that's fine. Miko, what was your favorite thing about Michael? I don't Mika, know. What was your favorite thing about I'm, your husband? I'm thinking. Mika struggled remembering a positive moment in her marriage. Uh, uh. <laughs> I do think that maybe it could have been something nice to say to make it not be so bad on TV. And you see the way he cuts the grass and how particularly he is. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was cool. I don't know, but that was a quality that he He was a good grass he cutter. He was a good practicer of gas cutting, grass cutting. Yeah. I would have just told Mika, like, get away from that. Like, you were so much smarter than that. Get away from it. He was manipulating you the whole time. Right. Mika's just so over Michael. Let's just move on. I don't think at no point where I'm like, I'm checked out. And it may look that way, but I, it didn't feel that way. No, no, you're checked out. You never moved into the house. You, you're checked out. If you won't go and stay with your wife, right. it's crazy to come in here and say, I never checked out. Right. You never checked in. That's the problem. Do you believe what you're hearing right now? It's hard for me to believe everything I'm hearing right now. I have questioned whether or not it's kind of been for publicity for him. If Zach did this all for publicity, I think it backfired. I don't think he did it for publicity. I think he saw an opportunity to be on TV, but I think he was looking for love. And I think the reason why he can't I find love right. is because girls figure out his BS. Clearly, he has no standards at this point, is what I'm gathering. Ooh. Somebody who does it for love is like Mika. Like, the, her husband's lying to her. She's catching him in his lies, but she's still giving him a chance. Someone like Mindy, where her husband's not even moving in with her, but it, she's still uh, giving it a chance. Everything possible. That's someone who does it for love. Zach, I'm sorry, he Jeff. wasn't in it for love. Was he in it for publicity? I don't know, but if that's the case, it backfired, because I don't know anybody who'd want to date him. Oh my god, what a mess. Uh, I mean... So I turn and I walk back to Brandon, and I'm like, you have to stop, this has to stop. You were arrested? Yeah, because honestly, I wanted to talk to the police, but I wanted to talk about getting protective order. I'm really not that surprised. No, I mean, both. they had to, they had to get into the legal system here. Just super bad for each other. Might I use the word toxic? Because hopefully they just move on and, you know, live happy, happy lives. Yeah. I mean, should they just let it go? Or are they just looking for the drama? Like, what's I, that's going on? what I say. They're looking for the drama. There's yeah. no way. If you're done with somebody, how many times have you been done with somebody? How many restraining words you got? I got exactly. When you don't want to out. somebody, you don't want to them. When I don't want somebody in my life, I just uh, not dealing uh. with them. If I see them out, I just like wave and casually and walk off. These two do not need to see each other. And honestly, I'm so happy. I don't want to see any more of either one of them. I feel like they've both been very yeah. juvenile and very disrespectful to each other, but also to like the whole process of married at first sight. I want a lie detector test. I want to know, I want to know who's telling the real truth. What this is, is a commitment to you for the rest of our lives. Because oh. I do love you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real deal. Like, he got down on one knee. That's awesome. That is a marriage that's going to last a lifetime. I really believe it. Babies, babies. Austin and Jessica, still cute. Always yeah. will be cute. I think the recommitment was really cute. It took me four, almost four years to get a ring. And it only took her mm -hmm. six months. So go Jess. Austin kind of reminds me a little bit of you with that little hopeless romantic side of them. I identify with it. I knew, like, even I knew on decision day. That's all we have for tonight's episode of Couples Couch. Oh, it has been an amazing season. Thank you guys so much for tagging along and watching these crazy episodes of Married at First Sight with us. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>